Hi. Welcome to Homeopathy Medicines. Today in this classic homeopathic materia medical lecture discuss about homeopathic medicine tabicum. By Dr. Farrington, MD. Before starting this video please subscribe to this channel. We need support from you to make this channel more beautiful and more informative. Now going to discuss about tabicum, its uses and symptoms. Tabicum contains several active ingredients, the most important of which is nicotine. Ever since smoking was an art, attempts have been made to get rid of this nicotine. Everyone acknowledges that it has a serious effect on the body. There are three groups of symptoms which may follow the use of tobacco. The primary symptoms are the well-known gastric symptoms, nausea and vomiting, with the most horrible sickness. The patient is deathly pale, does not care whether he lives or dies. Sometimes, cold sweat breaks out on the body. The secondary effects are more remote, coming months or even years after using the weed, and these are dyspepsia, and also some symptoms of the heart. These symptoms of the heart, I would have you remember. If they are not caused by tobacco, tabacum will be a very valuable remedy in their cure. I refer especially to dilated heart when these symptoms are present, there are frequent pallor with lividity of the face, diarrhea alternating with constipation, palpitation when lying on the left side, musky volatants, tinnitus aureum and dry cough which is cardiac in its origin, paroxysms of suffocation with tightness across the upper part of the chest, feeble and irregular pulse, pains like those of angina pectoris shoot from the heart down the left arm, or up into the neck and involve different plexuses of nerves. The extremities are cold and covered with a clammy sweat. Another symptom that may come as a secondary symptom of tobacco, is neuralgia of the face. This symptom when thus caused is curable by sepia as is also the dyspepsia. Impotence also follows tobacco and yields often to lycopodium. The tertiary effects of tobacco include apoplexy. Tobacco and its effect on the gastric organs very much resembles hydrocyanic acid, veritrum and camphor. For instance, we find it indicated in cholera, when the nausea and cold sweat persist after veritrum, secol or camphor, has stopped the diarrhea. This nausea is accompanied by burning heat about the abdomen the rest of the body being cold. The patient persists in uncovering the abdomen. I would remark here that this kind of sickness suggests tabicum in renal colic or in strangulated hernia. There are this deathly nausea and sickness, with slimy stool, from irritation of the bowels. The resemblance to hydrocyanic acid is in asphyxia. The latter drug acts upon the medulla and hence upon the heart through the pneumogastric nerves. Consequently the symptoms you would expect it to produce are those of the heart and lungs. We find it producing convulsions withdrawing at the nape of the neck from irritation at the base of the brain. Along with this, respiration is irregular or gasping and there is great distress about the heart with repeated weak spells, and coldness and blueness of the surface of the body. It is well to remember this fact in your emic convulsions when the medulla is affected. Hydrocyanic acid is then our only hope. Tabicum is used as an antidote to the bad effects of Sicuta virosa. The primary effects of tobacco are generally relieved by Ipcac. Nux vomica is indicated for the bad taste in the mouth and the headache worse in the morning from excessive smoking. It is said that Plantago Major produces a distaste for tobacco. I have seen one or two patients who supposed they had a dislike to tobacco after taking it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Comment us your feedback. Like and share this video with your friends and family. For paid and free consultancy online, visit homeopathymedicines.com and mashclinic.com. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay healthy stay happy. Thank you.